two Microsoft Word documents side by side. I mean, that's enterprisey right there. And. Hi everyone, it's Fuchström. Today it's exactly 329 days since WWDC 2019, where Apple announced iPadOS 13 with great new features such as external storage support and multi-window support for the same app. So the past few months, almost a year, you could put, uh, you can put two windows side by side, such so as two Safari windows, except for one important group of apps, which were the Office apps, or now called the Microsoft 365 apps. And that was a pity. I mean, look, they even put it on WWDC. There is a user voice post that has been posted, I mean, even before WWDC, asking Microsoft to, yeah, let us put two Word documents side by side, which is very useful if you are if you want to use your iPad productively and need to compare documents or need to have one document as a base and the other to make your new file or your new report or something. And that just wasn't possible. Now, today, April 29, 2020, it's finally here, although it's still in beta, but at least it's here now. I've been checking the beta versions the past months and it still wasn't there. I was hoping it would be there, but it is here now. And I'll show you in this video, and not only for Word, but also for the other Office apps. Let's just get straight to the point. I'll uh, open Word. So Word, there it is. So just as usual, this is uh, Word. Uh, nothing much has changed here and we have a blank document and so what I mean now is you can just take Word over here and just yeah have a second window and open a new document and yeah finally it's here so that's very cool now um, so you can type over here you can type also over here oh see this is one thing that still has to be fixed okay it's because I wasn't active there so one thing that has to be fixed I mean sometimes you, you don't really know which side you're working on and I hope in iPadOS 14 they will fix that and normally you should be able to see it on those tabs over there but I really don't see a difference in color or in brightness of those tabs so that's a bit um, a bit some I mean something maybe that will come in iPadOS 14 but that's not uh, Microsoft's fault uh, but I'm just glad that this is finally here you can even have three Word documents open if you'd like and um, yeah you could be super productive so that's a possibility. Now, all the menus are still here. Insert, draw, uh, layout, review, and view. Just wondering, can you scroll? Yeah, you can scroll with your mouse. You can just scroll like this, or you can use your finger, of course. I'm really glad that this layout is kept. If you've used Word on your iPhone before, then the layout is totally different. I mean, you would have to use the bottom half of your screen of your phone to uh, change certain styles or change certain uh, yeah, certain options and that isn't the case here. The only thing that I still want to say though, I'm also an Office 365 user and there you have many more options. So let me just show you. Okay, I'm now in Office uh, 365. I'm now up uh, editing over here online and I can even expand the menu to have the old menu and this looks much more like the desktop uh, word and here you do have paragraph settings I mean you do have much more than in the mobile app and that's a bit of pity that uh, they don't incorporate it in their mobile app or in their iPad app especially because iPads now are, are capable of doing much more and people are using it for much more than before and anyway, that's just something I'm really glad that multi window support is finally here and not only here but also in for example PowerPoint and then you can also just take presentation and then yeah, just use them side by side so for example if you wanna if you have a colleague who made a nice presentation when you use a few things from that presentation in your own presentation then this is a very powerful option now Excel though which I have also the latest beta of doesn't seem to support this so if I go now to Excel and I do this it doesn't work yet so I think they'll still add it later because Excel is also very useful to have two side by side so that might be um, out there too in the future now uh, one note same thing I, just, I tried it out but I can't show you because I have my personal notes there but one note also doesn't support it yet it might come it probably will come now that's just one thing I wanted to talk about here in this video one more thing is uh, this keyboard over here this is the smart folio keyboard actually I mean honestly these keys aren't bad at all but the magic keyboard has backlit keys has um, yeah although this these feel very nice in my opinion uh, those are 
still better. I mean, it's it's like an official keyboard, like, like you'd find on a MacBook. It has a trackpad, so yes, I ordered it. If you have any questions about the Magic Keyboard, please comment down below um, so I can answer them in my unboxing and review video, which will be coming very, very soon. And finally, I just want to talk about one tweet. A tweet from John Prosser saying that he's now 100% confident that Final Cut Pro Logic Pro and Xcode are coming to the iPad Pro. And that is something that we've, again, all been waiting for even longer than being able to have two Word documents side by side. Uh, this here is an iPad Pro. It can do so much. But sadly, the yeah, the processor isn't really being, let's say, let's call it just challenged. I mean, we're not fully using the processor that's in here. The Final Cut Pro would really be a great addition to the iPad. Maybe it will also be compatible, of course, with the normal iPads. Uh, but I can imagine that great, I mean, like really large projects would run, of course, better on iPad Pro, just like Luma Fusion works better on the Pro, and uh, or at least on the latest uh, A13 chips. I mean, and really be nice if you if you could just uh, have the same workflow. I mean, if you could just do everything on the iPad and just use it like that, or maybe then easily transfer to the Mac and then continue there and just add all the effects if plugins won't be supported on the iPad. All right, so this was an update to uh, Word that has been finally updated to Logic Pro and Final Cut Pro coming and of course also about the Magic Keyboard which I'll be reviewing in one of the next videos. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for commenting and see you in the next video.